So he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, instead of selling it to those things, sell it to me. And when you sell it to me, once you sell it to me, you are free, completely free. Why? Because if my nafs I dedicate to the divine and therefore the divine norms and the divine attributes, I liberate my nafs from the attachments it has for other than Allah Azza wa Jal. Eating, drinking, copulating, sleeping, playing, power, resource, matter, kada kada. I liberated the drives inside, the attachments from all of that. None of that is there. Allah bought it. And Allah is not material, is not created so that I experience the constrictedness of the nafs when it is slave to material things. Allah is not material, is not created. My nafs relating to Allah does not have a realm of constriction. فَتَتَحَرَّرُ مِمَّا سِوَا عَزَّوْجَلْ I buy you and you become a freed slave. That's what it is. You sell your nafs to other than me and you will remain forever a slave. Sell it to me and you are free. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ Why do I lie? Why do I cheat? Why do I backbite? Why do I hurt? Why do I commit injustice? Why do I usurp? Why do I kill? All of that because of drives inside of me other than the divine presence. And that's servitude and that's slavery. The attachments I have inside of me. An attachment in emotion is an attachment, positive or negative, and that's servitude. Yashtari Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nafsaka minka simply means sell it to him. In other words, la uridu illa ma yurid. Until I get to the point where I desire only what he desires. I do not will except what he wills. La uridu illa ma yurid. Once that happens, I am free. Ajib. And in exchange for that freedom, he gives you Jannah. 